Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Squills here, back with another video, and today I am going to be showing you guys the best, or at least my favorite drone spots on every single one of the 14 ranked maps. Getting pre-placed drones, as I've talked about in a previous video on droning, is super, super important, whether you're doing that in the prep phase or throughout the round to keep track of defenders as they move around the map. And so all of these drone spots will give you great vision of important areas of the map while being able to stay hidden very, very well. So without any further talking from me, let's get straight into all of these spots. All right, starting off first, I'm going to be doing these maps in alphabetical order on bank. We have one of the easiest to get to drone spots, in my opinion, and that is this cam that goes on this ledge or alternatively on this lamp right here in bank. So there's two ways to get to it. There's the easier one in terms of parkour. You just go up onto this chair, jump up onto this TV, go to the edge of the TV, jump up onto this ledge, and finally up onto this lamp. And then you could even go a little bit higher up on the lamp is what I like to do. Or you could just stay on that ledge alternatively. It doesn't really matter. I like to go with this one though. And this gives you fantastic views of all of lobby into loan office, to the top of elevator, into Trump, banana, and even into lounge. As you can see, here I am. And that is the drone from far away that is incredibly hard to spot. It does kind of look a little odd hanging off that lamp. But as you can see, this would be the upstairs bomb site. And even all the way, all the way back in here into the CEO bomb site, you can still see me a little bit. My, you know, my elbow kind of just sticking out there. So this drone has absolutely incredible vision. It is very hard to spot simply because of how far away it is from most of the defenders that would be, you know, getting called out from it. And uh, yeah, overall, a super easy and great drone spot. All right, moving on to my favorite drone spot on border. And this is right where my drone spawns. So it is in a perfect place to demonstrate to you how easy the second one is to get to. Oops, there we go. Okay, so you drive into break room, jump up on this little ledge over here, jump all the way up. You can get onto this little cork board or onto any one of these objects on the break room. Drive up on top of the fridge, go right up behind the TV, and jump yourself up onto the TV. Now, this is a fantastic drone spot, actually decently well hidden, which I will show you right now. So yeah, as you can see, the drone blends in really well with the TV. This light right here helps it out a lot, and it has fantastic vision all the way into CCTV, as you can see very clearly spotting me out right there. And yeah, a hard drone spot to see. Very easy to get even from the prep phase and anybody trying to get aggressive in CCTV will be spotted out and surely killed quickly. Moving on to the map of Chalet and this one is one of my favorite drone spots in the entire game. And of course you guys saw this one in the thumbnail which is why you know one of my favorites. You jump up onto this ledge. This one's a little bit tricky. You kind of have to point your drone. I like to get almost close to up under the plant. You point your drone up as far as it can go. Give it a little jump. I always like to turn my drone sideways so that kind of the edge of the wheel of the drone will kind of stick out and land on this plant right here. And then jump up to this little wooden ledge. If you get all the way to the top, that's fine. Just drive into the corner and drop down. And right here is the drone spot again. There's another one that is deceptively hard to spot out because of kind of the way it's lit. And also people are going to be looking onto the stairs towards library or towards mezzanine and not going to be looking for that tiny little drone up there. But this is such a crucial hallway to have, you know, vision on. It is the only doorway. This doorway right here is the only doorway from this entire side of the top floor to that entire side of the top floor. And a drone that gives you this level of fantastic vision on this area while being actually relatively quick to get. If you practice this a couple times, you can get that drone very quickly. And you might even be able to get it, although it is a little risky, if they are defending the top floor. And trust me, when they are defending the top floor, this drone is absolutely crucial. If you drive it forward a little bit, it can also serve as a blue stairs flank cam, which is super, super nice when you are attacking the basement site or even, again, when you're attacking the top floor site to use as a flank drone. That's all for this one. Moving on to the next map. Alrighty, everybody. Moving on to the map of Clubhouse. We have a fantastic drone for the one of the most contested rooms on the map. You kind of drive your drone to garage, jump it up on this little railer, 
drive it almost all the way up the railing, turn around, and once you are about level, I like to go slightly below the level of this kind of ledge up here. You jump up to it. I try to aim at this little red bar up here. And this one's kind of tricky. You kind of have to like inch your drone over and kind of go around using this tiny little ledge. Just kind of scoot around the little bar. I don't know exactly if I can do it in reverse, but um, you know, you kind of scoot around that little red bar. And then once you're up here, you basically have the drone spot. But I like to add to it by driving over here, jumping up on top of this pallet. And finally jumping up on top of this box where I think the best drone spot is. Now this can see obviously all of Garage, all of Rafters into Lounge. So it actually can serve as a flank cam for you know anybody trying to prevent a flank coming through Lounge going in either direction. And most importantly, in my opinion, especially when you're attacking the CCTV bombsite, it can see all the way up to top red. Now, this one is one of the more easy drones to spot out if you are a defender that does stick out a little bit. But again, it is at such a great distance. And also, uh, if you are in garage, it is actually quite high up and in a corner that you're not really looking at. If you want to hide it from most of garage, uh, lower garage, uh, you can put it right there. And of course, now it's much, much harder to see. But it also, you know, does not have as good a vision of bottom garage as if you were to put it here. But yeah, a phenomenal drone. Another super easy one to get right off spawn. Again, you just drive it in that door and you're basically already there. And uh, yeah, having intel on garage, especially early in the round, can be super, super critical on this map. Moving on to the map of Coastline, and this is a drone spot that I think you guys will find very, very interesting. You start by driving your drone here in through the main lobby, up the main stairs, and this is where we get to the kind of trickier part. I like to go right up against the wall, look as far up as I possibly can with my drone, and just give it a little jump and a turn sideways. It'll break the little vase that you've got in this cubby hole. And once you're there, whoops, do that again. Once you're there, still turn sideways. Um, you know, facing a little bit more, I like to line it up with this line maybe, but just kind of like a quarter turn over in this direction. Give it another jump, and you will be all the way up onto this lamp, which is your final drone spot. And there you have it in that little cubby hole. This gives you fantastic vision of top white, this little be uh, you know ledge up here, as well as this huge hallway leading into 90 and a little bit even into luggage as well. This drone is extremely powerful if you have heavy pressure from aquarium balcony if you're attacking the top floor because, you know, top white, this whole area is one of the most dangerous ways you can flank that control. And as well, having, you know, info on 90 is really, really powerful. This drone is fairly easy to spot if you kind of look at it, but a lot of people will not notice this at all because they're just kind of used to seeing these random little objects in these cubbies and they will not really... Um, be noticing anything awry with that. If people do start spotting out this drone, what you can do is move it down here into this darker little corner. This doesn't give you as good of intel onto the stairs, but putting something like this is almost impossible to spot. There it is right there. Um, but yeah, yeah, just, just you can play around with this one and still get almost all of the same intel, um, but keeping it much, much better hidden. Coming over to the freshly reworked map of Consulate, we have a fantastic drone spot for you guys. Come on over here into this yellow door, up the stairs, up the stairs once again, and you can get a drone up on top of this little ledge here with the plants by simply jumping on this desk, giving one more jump, and one of the easier drone spots to get to actually, and you have a fantastically hidden, and I mean truly fantastically hidden, look at that, that is damn near impossible to see if I do say so myself and it actually gives you surprisingly very clear vision of this hallway which is one of the most highly trafficked areas on this map and even allows you to see into this kind of main lobby area so if anybody's trying to flank up from spiral stairs you will catch them running down spiral stairs you will catch them and running from this visa area kind of over uh, if you move this drone over a little bit, you can also catch them doing that. So this is really just a fantastic drone to have. If you wanted to do other things, you can actually turn it around, and now you have a cam watching anybody coming up or down yellow. So super versatile as well, and again, like I said, extremely well hidden. That is just incredible. So, yep, moving on to the next map. 
Coming on over here now to Emerald Plains, we have a fantastic drone spot in, again, one of the most highly trafficked areas of the map. Starting in this kind of little fountain room, there's a bunch of ways to get to this from the outside, namely uh, this drone hole over here on the north side of the map. You come in through this drone hole, go up the stairs, and now, using this little ladder right here, you are able to put your drone into really any one of the bookshelves. I usually like to go higher equals better and yeah look at this drone this is absolutely beautiful not only does this allow you to actually hold a flank on these stairs right here but it also allows you great vision of library and even all the way into hunting as you can see on this cam and it is literally almost impossible to spot look at that tiny drone right there no one is ever going to shoot that if you are able to get it and again super easy to get even in the prep phase although i would be careful as again very highly trafficked area, so it might get shot. But if you can get this drone in this position safely, it will be an absolute game changer for you. Coming over to the map of Cafe, we have a fantastic prep phase drone, or you know, just any kind of drone, for when you are attacking the kitchen bomb site. You simply drive your drone in through the bottom of the white stairs, come in here through VIP, and tuck your drone under this table and it is literally as simple as that because of how dark it is under these tables this drone is very very difficult to spot you can kind of see the little white outlines on the wheels but from a distance that drone is essentially invisible but it gives you perfect vision into reception into coat check over there top of brown stairs if you move it over you can kind of see a little bit behind whiskey bar or if you kind of just jump it up onto the seat of the table here which is still fairly difficult to spot so it's a little bit easier there but this drone gives you absolutely fantastic vision of the whole hallway now i will add i can't really show you guys this because i am oops because i am only one person but when someone is actually on this drone and it is lighting up it is a little bit easier to see so that is really the only downside of this drone but because of the vision it gives you uh it is absolutely unmatched on this map Coming on over to the map of Canal, we have one of the best flank drones on this map, especially when you are attacking the top floor. You simply drive it into this or that drone hole over there onto the bottom floor, really just getting your drone into scuba at any point. Coming up these stairs, and this is where I guess the trickiest, at least for this one, you kind of have to see this little plastic piece up here on the vending machine and try to get your drone onto it. I try to run my drone right up to the vending machine and just give a little jump and turn the drone sideways. It's not that hard to get, just with a little bit of practice, you can even do it jumping it straight on. And then you like to you want to jump your drone up here on top of the vending machine. Now, you could leave it sitting on top of this box if you want to give it vision of the top of printer stairs, but I think this leaves it way too exposed. And so I like to tuck it in here behind this little box, and this stops a player from coming from this uh, top of printer stairs over here and just shooting it. So if you tuck it back a little more, this will make it more hidden from the hallway. And this is an absolutely fantastic flank drone if you are someone trying to push onto Skybridge right here because anybody trying to flank either up diving stairs or from this hallway will be spotted out basically immediately by this drone. If you tuck it back there, it is decently hard to see and someone might not be you know, looking for it. It kind of just looks like it blends in with this box a little bit. And so, yeah, a fantastic flank drone that will definitely save your life if you are pushing Skybridge. Moving on over to the map of Nighthaven Labs. This is a drone that will protect your flank and also be a fantastic pre-placed drone for you if you want to take rafters, which is one of the most important areas to take when you are attacking the top floor. Simply get your drone into the bottom of this kind of warehouse room bring it over to the bottom of the stairs and tuck it up nestle it in this tiny little corner on top of this box now this gives you great view of a couple different rooms this little lounge room over here this room over here and this hallway in particular are fantastic if you inch your drone out a little bit it can actually see somebody kind of in this little corner of rafters right here but mainly you are using it in order to kind of clear out this bottom floor area in order that you can walk either in this door or from that hallway or really any way to get up the rafter stairs and take extremely important map control when you're attacking the top floor bomb site or on honestly any bomb site this drone will do wonders for you 
Heading on over to the map of Oregon, we have a drone that can see almost the entire top floor of the map, which is pretty crazy. Simply drive your drone up the white stairs, head on over to dorms, and there's a kind of a couple ones you can do. You can actually jump up that shelf and get one over there. But the one I like to do and the one that's much easier is literally just jump on top of these shelves, jump on top of these shelves, and bring your drone over to this corner over here. Now, by spinning your drone 360 degrees, you can see almost all of games with the exception of these little corner. You can see into attic, you can see into kids, you can see all of dorms, and you can even see the top of white stairs. And with just a little bit of drone movement from this position, you can get to the rest of the top floor extremely easily. Now, the thing I like to use this drone for, it's pretty easy to spot. That is the one difference between this drone and many of the other drones on this list. But the great thing about this drone is that it makes clearing the top floor, especially when you're attacking one of the bottom floor bomb sites, especially basement, but also the other two as well. It makes clearing the top floor super, super easy because, you know, you can just hop on this drone, quickly check a couple different areas. Okay, no one there, no one there, no one in games, no one in trophy, and no one in attic. And just like that, within 15 seconds, you have cleared the entire top floor of the map, and it is just a fantastic drone for gaining large amount of intel on an entire floor of the map very, very quickly. All right, everybody, here on the map of Outback, we have a fantastic drone for you. This is another one of my longtime favorites. You drive your drone in here into the bottom of Shark. You bring it on up Shark stairs. This part could be pretty risky if they are defending either one of the top floor sites, but if you're quick about it, you can definitely get this drone up here safely. Jump on top of these barrels on top of this table. You do an angled jump to get it on top of this little metal grate thing. And from here, you just send it one more time up into these rafter beams right here. And this cam is damn near impossible to spot. Kind of this little haziness in this area up here makes it very difficult to distinguish this drone. And this drone gives you fantastic vision, not only of bottom shark to see anybody maybe, and especially hear somebody coming up these stairs. Drone can't look very far down. But fantastic vision into bull and also all of this area in top shark to see anybody kind of playing this general area. Uh, bonus, if you are coming up from shark stairs and you are able to open up this wall right here, that will allow your drone to see all the way into party, which is phenomenally uh, valuable uh, to your team, especially, again, if they are defending this party site. So if you're able to get this drone, then maybe sneak into lower shark, fire a breaching round into this wall, and now you have a perfectly invisible drone, basically, that can see into uh, the objective site and a lot of areas around it. So super, super cool drone that has been in this game even before the Outback rework, which is pretty crazy to think about. Moving on to the next one. Moving on over here to the map of Skyscraper, and we have a really creative way of getting your drone into a fantastic spot. Now, You'd think if your drone were to spawn down here that the only way of getting it up to the top floor would be entering, you know, maybe like through this drone hole and then moving up the stairs. But no, that is not true. You can actually get your drone onto the top floor outside by driving up this little geometry here on this balcony, jumping to the other part of this, again, little geometry, driving back down and hopping over the railing and bang, you are now up onto this balcony with your drone and you can do this again in the prep phase when you don't have your operator to you know throw the actual drone then you want to come on here through this drone hole move it into samurai and there's a bunch of really different ways to get this i'm gonna do uh my personal favorite which is just to kind of jump onto this display case up onto this tv and then send it up onto whoops first mistake here I'll do it again just for show. And then boom. That's a little bit of a trickier jump, but you can then move it onto the other lamp if you want or keep it at the same one. It doesn't really matter. Having a drone on this lamp is super, super awesome because of how versatile it is. You can use it as a flank drone here for the house stairs. You can turn it around and, you know, use it to, you know, keep an eye on all of Samurai. Or you can move it back down to this ledge over here and has great views of minibar. No one will ever think to look for a drone up on either of these two lights, trust me. No one has, not uh, non Solus, of course. Solus, of course, will spot this out very easily, but no one has ever spotted my drone up here in absolutely hundreds of times, probably, using this drone spot because 
nobody will ever think to look up there on top of that light to check for that drone so a fantastic drone both as a flying drone and as just like a roam clear drone because exhibition is a very common room to play in if the site is not here uh, for someone to be roaming here moving on to one of our final maps coming on over to a little bit more of a rare map with stadium bravo here in the cards we are going to decide to send our drone here into office you could use this drone hole kind of near hookah or a couple other ones. There's another drone hole that leads into the same room right over there. But we're going to take our drone into office. We're going to bring it over here. We're actually going to go behind the whiteboard. This is one of the most creative drone spots that I personally have ever seen on this map. We're going to jump it up onto the back of the whiteboard. Oop. Top number two. And then give it another jump looking straight at the back of the whiteboard straight up. And you will land perfectly on top of it. It literally pushes your drone back just enough so that you stick the landing rod on top of it. You drive all the way back over here, and I like to do an angle jump, going for the straight on jump to me is a little bit more risky. Look up, give it another jump, and then tuck it back in this corner. And you now have a fantastic drone, very hard to spot because of the dark color of the top of this little wall. That gives you perfect views of all of the office room and also anybody coming over here from this hookah side. So yeah, just a fantastic cam for the top floor. It even sees out into the hallway for anybody rotating through. But great vision on this cam, and again, super hard to spot because of the dark color of this wall. Moving on to the next map. Alrighty, folks, we have arrived at our penultimate map on Theme Park right here. And this drone can safely be gotten into the spot, and you could even get it here when the bomb site is located right next to it. This is a fantastic drone spot. Simply move your drone here into Lower Arcade jump it up onto this little ledge next to the stairs then onto these neon lights then onto this little ledge right here and finally after all of that you can arrive right here for a phenomenal drone spot giving you views into barrels drug lab this entire hallway right here in front of split but most importantly this top arcade balcony all the way through daycare and even into bunks this cam is an absolute beast and can allow you to clear rooms here on the top floor and also get some great vision down onto the bottom floor if you are trying to attack the armory and throne bomb site. All right, everybody, our final map here is Villa, and this is a drone spot I have been using for possibly the longest out of every single one of these that I've shown you in this video. And it is a great drone for keeping track of anybody running around on the bottom floor and can be useful on every single one of the bomb sites. Bring your drone into the bottom floor anywhere. I'm just going to use this drone hole here in Memorial, through Memorial, and you want to tuck your drone right in here behind this plant. And uh, if you want to, you could even jump it here on top of the plant. This will make it a little bit more visible to enemies, but still give you absolutely great vision. There it is right there. It does blend in pretty well with the plant, but as you can see, fantastic vision of almost all of the entire bottom floor with vision into mudroom as well as this red hall and library as well. So any roamer kind of lurking around here on the bottom floor, this can be used as a fantastic flank drone if you're pushing upstairs. But yeah, really a fantastic drone. Just anywhere on the bottom floor, any roamers will likely be seen um, trying to cross through the map on the bottom floor. All right, everybody, so that will do it for all 14 of those drone spots, one for every single one of the ranked maps. Uh, probably all of those will be new to you guys. Maybe a couple of you absolute legends will have seen some of those drone spots before. But, uh, yeah, those drone spots are all really, really good. Most of them you can easily get to in the prep phase, so start incorporating them into your own ranked games. Show them off to your friends. Some of those, uh, as I'm sure you can tell, are pretty, pretty impressive and... Uh, Many a, pe many a person has asked me how I've gotten my drone into one of those spots. So, yeah, that is a really fun video for me to make, finding those spots and, you know, kind of sharing the ones that I've been using for absolutely years now. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I read absolutely all comments. No comments get by me. So if you drop me a comment, I will make sure to respond to you very, very quickly. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.